You know what irritates the heck out of me? Is the fact that so many vitamin and supplement companies don't advise you when to take your vitamins, when to take your supplements, because they don't care if you just burn through the supplements and don't absorb them or not. Well, one of the questions that I get asked frequently on my Facebook page, on my YouTube channel, and even on my Instagram is, how do I know if I'm absorbing nutrients? Or what kind of vitamins do I need to make sure I take with food so that I know that I'm absorbing them? So I wanted to do this video to really clear things up. And in fact, there's been a couple of comments recently on one of my videos pertaining to fish oil during a fasting state, and it really prompted this video. So what we first have to look at is the fact that vitamins are micronutrients. They're micronutrients that we need for daily function. But we have to break down those micronutrients, those vitamins, into two classifications. You've probably heard of fat-soluble vitamins and water-soluble vitamins. Pretty basic, and in fact, it literally means what it sounds like. Vitamins that are fat-soluble vitamins are dissolved more in fat. They need to be consumed with fat in order to be absorbed. But they're also stored in the liver and in the adipose or body fat tissue. Whereas water-soluble vitamins, on the other hand, are not stored in body tissues. They are soluble in water, which means you're excreting them on a daily basis, especially if you're hydrating the way that you should. Now, the fat-soluble vitamins we want to look at are vitamins A, D, E, and K. So what we have to look at here is what the most prevalent fat-soluble vitamins that we consume are. Now, when you look at vitamins like vitamin K, very prevalent in salads, very prevalent in a lot of vegetables. Well, when you are consuming vegetables with a little bit of oil or maybe some salad dressing that has some oil in it, you are actually absorbing more of that vitamin K. Now, the same thing kind of applies for vitamin D. You see, vitamin D, generally speaking, we get from the sun, but it can't really be synthesized or absorbed unless we have some fat in the diet. So if you're eating a higher fat diet, like something like eggs, fish, and some other meats and poultry, then you can absorb a lot more of that vitamin D, whether it be vitamin D that's coming from food or vitamin D that's coming from up above in the sunlight. Now when we look at water-soluble vitamins. The two main water-soluble vitamins that I want to focus on today are vitamin C and B-complex vitamins. The reason that I want to focus on those is because for the case of this video, they're probably the most critical. I've done videos on vitamin C that talk about how imperative vitamin C is to cortisol reduction and to overall stress management, not to mention overall immune system and digestion. The thing is, if you aren't getting adequate amounts of vitamin C on a daily basis, you can almost guarantee that within 48 to 72 hours, most of your vitamin C stores that are water soluble in your body are going to be depleted. So the main thing with something like vitamin C is that if you go a few days without consuming adequate amounts of vitamin C, your stores of vitamin C can almost be completely wiped out simply because they're water soluble and they're being passed through your body. Then we look at something like B complex vitamins. Specifically for vegans, they don't usually get enough in the way of B vitamins, specifically B12. So very important that you're supplementing with B vitamins, but it's also important that you're doing so on a daily basis, especially if you're hydrating properly. Now, when we look at water-soluble vitamins, it may not be as important to take them with food like it is with fat-soluble vitamins, but something that is important and something to note is that vitamin C, vitamin B, and these other water-soluble vitamins are definitely affected by how food is preserved. So how long you keep food in the fridge or how long you cook food. See, with fat-soluble vitamins, they don't denature as easily. They can usually withstand a little bit of heat. They can usually withstand a little bit of cooking and a little bit of turmoil in terms of denaturing. But when it comes to water-soluble vitamins, if they sit in a fridge for a long period of time, they will absolutely denature and lose their effectiveness. So be cognizant of that. And in short, just make sure you're getting enough of those water-soluble vitamins frequently on a daily basis. The next set that I want to talk about are minerals. Now, I usually classify minerals sort of in the same classification as vitamins. You always see them grouped together, vitamins and minerals. Well, the difference is minerals are actual trace products, a lot of times trace products of the earth, elements of the soil, elements like that that we actually need for nervous system function, that we need for muscle function, that we need for brain function. They actually are physical elements of our body. So the first one I want to look at is magnesium. I talk about this one all the time. I'm touting it in my videos all the time, especially when I'm talking about business people that are stressed out, that need to focus on sleep. Magnesium is huge for promoting relaxation. So when do you want to take magnesium? Well, you want to take it with food because other vitamins and minerals do encourage the absorption of magnesium. Take it at night, take it about an hour before bed because magnesium will help promote relaxation, will help promote muscle relaxation, and ultimately lower your stress levels so you can get to sleep better. Now the next one I want to talk about is zinc. 
I talk about zinc a lot as well because zinc is huge when it comes to testosterone production. Now zinc is another one that you're gonna wanna take with food or directly after a meal. Other vitamins and fat soluble vitamins even can help the absorption of zinc. Now what we do have to watch with zinc is you don't wanna be taking it with dairy. So if you have yogurt before you go to bed or if you have milk or even almond milk before bed, be aware of when you're taking your zinc because that calcium that is in milk and calcium that is in a lot of these other products can slow down and actually inhibit the absorption of zinc altogether. Now the other thing that we have to be aware of is that zinc can affect iron absorption. So if you're anemic and you have to make sure that you're getting enough iron, you may wanna be careful with how much zinc you take. Simply because zinc can suppress copper absorption and we don't really absorb iron without enough copper. And that's a topic for another video that we'll go into at a different time. Now let's talk about probiotics since I'm always talking about them as well. When do you wanna take your probiotic? You wanna take it 30 minutes before a meal because 30 minutes before a meal, your stomach acid, hydrochloric acid levels are at their lowest, which means you're going to get more effect from that probiotic. Now, generally speaking, a lot of times I will say take a probiotic with a meal just to make it easy because not everyone has the ability to just take a probiotic 30 minutes before they eat on a whim, but you're going to get the maximum effect and digestive capabilities of that probiotic by taking it 30 minutes before a meal. Now the big one is fish oil. Okay, this is where I saw a comment string that went on for like two days talking about when's the right time to take fish oil. So in short, fish oil is definitely absorbed better when it is taken with meals. But what we have to factor in is that there is a level of fat content that is in a fish oil pill, which means there usually is enough in the way of fatty acids to help the absorption of those omega-3s. Now what we also have to look at is how much you're really trying to get. I usually recommend taking a krill, calamarine, or fish oil pill with every meal to make sure that you spike up those omega-3 levels within your blood. But the condition is if you're fasting and you wanna take in those omega-3s, obviously it's okay to take them without a meal. You are still going to absorb them. In fact, even when you're fasting, you should still allot for the calories that are in a fish oil pill. If you look on the label, usually you'll see there's still about 10 calories per pill. We still have to factor that stuff in because it adds up. Now, I'm gonna leave you with this. Be careful when you take your vitamins and minerals with hot liquids or hot beverages like tea or coffee. Simply because the tannins in tea and coffee as well as the caffeine can dramatically reduce the absorption of those. So try to space them out about 30 minutes to 60 minutes after your morning coffee or your evening tea. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. Let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see because I'm always listening to you for that kind of stuff. Take it easy. I'll see you soon.